The Kutukopapa School in Wairua has just reopened after it was closed following Cyclone Gabrielle. For the past fortnight, the school rooms have been used as emergency housing for families in need. And today, seven of the school's students and their kapahaka group were celebrated. National correspondent Amanda Gillies explains why. It's been a tough two weeks for Wairua, but this is a moment of celebration. The time to embrace their strength, their power, their determination. It's always rewarding to see the fruits um, and then coming back to the source, which to us the source is our young ones, and hopefully we can be that uh, exemplar for them. Um, that we can do anything even though we were a part of a cyclone and devastation. Days after the small town was devastated by Cyclone Gabrielle, the local Kapahaka group, most of them flood victims, borrowed a bus and made the much elongated 13-hour trek to Auckland for Te Matatini. With them, a bucket of white or mud to honour where they had come from. They then rubbed it on their legs. That was an emotional moment for most of us, just gave us that extra fuel to give us more, I guess, um, energy, um, more emotions to perform our hearts out for our people at home. Among the 37 strong groups, seven students from the local Kuru Kaupapa. Today their strength and performance was celebrated at the school which has finally just reopened. Most students are back, about 50 are still isolated. For the past fortnight the school was emergency housing home to local families. It was old school at times, the water that fell from the roof used to shower. And even inventing um like the necessary needs of like a basic shower and um, how to use toilets <laughs> or you know it almost came to buckets. <laughs> a horse was even used to pull student Xavier Tohi Ariki Williams who's recovering from surgery to get to his appointments. It's the East Coast way. We parked up. And just when they thought they were over the worst of it more rain and flooding arrived this week. It was a kick in the guts. Our community is still hurting. We still have whānau that are still homeless. It's going to be a little while, but um, we're still here. Um, we're fighters. So with shovels in hand, the people of Wairau will use their strength to regroup and rebuild the Wairau way. <laughs>